difícil todo. Uno se siente muy deprimido. Everybody has a story to tell. I learned an enormous amount uh, as a result about how you tell stories, how you tell effective stories, how you tell compelling and nuanced stories, even when you only have an hour in which to tell them. Are ferocious right now. 155 miles an this hour. project started out with a message from Frontline up in Boston. They wanted to send this team down to first Houston and then Florida after Hurricane Harvey and Irma. The storms had ripped apart communities and lives. So while they were doing this reporting, Hurricane Maria hit in Puerto Rico. Just ferocious. I mean, these are winds that are taking down debris. The team went down there and saw that the devastation in Puerto Rico was just of a whole other magnitude. So what we started doing was we started researching and saying, what's actually going on in Puerto Rico? It seemed like the response there was going much lower than it was in Houston and in Florida. So what's the why behind that? And then also what's the impact on people there? We had this sense that, okay, the island was vulnerable before Maria hit, but how did it get there? Esa es mi casa. Esa era lo que era mi casa. You need to find the nexus of all these different stories and figure out how best to tell them and also find those stories that best symbolize the whole. So when we, for instance, zoomed in on this Blue Roof program, this is housing. Housing is basic. Housing can stand for so much. That's the symbol that we can use to show what's happening on the ground in terms of the larger response. What I was most struck by in Puerto Rico was how resilient those communities are. This is not a victim story. So they are very resourceful when it comes to figuring out how to put together lives for themselves, their families, their communities. We found a community doing what it could to try and rebuild. Investigative journalism is actually more important than ever. I mean, we live in an era of a 24-7 news cycle, and there's just so much happening so quickly that it's hard to get an in-depth understanding of any of it. You know, you have to earn your source's trust, and that's how you go deeper and find out what's actually going on. Why do you think the bank would want to turn a blind eye to something like this? Because it was profitable. If you are humble, and are willing to listen, most people are actually willing to tell you that story. They want to tell you that story, but you need to make sure they know that you're worthy of it and that they can trust you with it.